The pre-match conference with the coaches and captains is an important duty which must not be taken lightly. It is an opportunity for the official to set the tone for the match and to convey information to both teams. National Federation rules require the referees to conduct a pre-match conference with the head coaches and at least one captain from each team prior to timed warm-ups for each match. The conference is led by the first referee, but the second referee should be encouraged to contribute to the conference. At a minimum, each conference should include the following topics. Introductions. Make sure the players and coaches introduce themselves to each other. The referees can each introduce themselves, or the first referee can introduce him or herself, as well as the second referee. Ground rules. Specify where playable area ends. Make sure to point out how any overhead obstructions will be played. If there could be any confusion over court markings, make sure to talk about them in the conference. Please note, it is best to determine the ground rules before the conference begins and not ask during the conference how a certain situation should be handled. Player equipment. Remind players that jewelry is not allowed. Cover what can and cannot be worn in the hair. Ask that anyone having questions regarding equipment have the equipment reviewed before it is worn. Remind players that illegal equipment cannot be worn during warm-ups. Make sure that both head coaches verify that all of their players are legally and properly equipped and will wear their uniforms properly. Sportsmanship Expectations Discuss the importance of sportsmanship. High school sports are part of the educational experience. In no case should behavior which would not be allowed in the classroom be considered acceptable. Officials, coaches, and school administrators must work as a team to ensure that any instance of unsportsmanlike conduct be addressed whether it take place on or off the court. Match Format in tournament situations or other instances where there may be questions on the format, such as 2 out of 3 versus 3 out of 5 or a point cap, it is a good idea to make note of the match format during the conference. Likewise, if there are changes to warm-up procedures, they should also be covered. Invite questions. Ask if anyone involved in the conference has any questions. Coin toss. If the visiting team has more than one captain in the conference, ask which will be calling the toss. Ask that a captain from the home team repeat the call made by the visiting captain. The coin is to be called while it is in the air. If the official does not catch the coin, the coin must be reflipped. The winner of the toss has the choice of serving first or receiving. To conclude the conference, wish everyone good luck. Following the conference, make sure the scorer is notified of who will be serving first and begin the timed warm-ups. Keep in mind that at different times in the season, and depending upon the age and skill level of the match, there may be more or less detail given to new rules or special situations that have occurred. Also, your state association may have announcements to be included in your pre-match conference. We will now listen in on a sample pre-match conference. 